Hi, everybody. I'm going to talk today about making wine the old-fashioned way. You know, before there were wineries all over, when our ancestors first came to this country, uh, maybe they didn't have all the tools they wanted to make wine. Today, we're going to make an apple cranberry wine. So, for the first step in the process, you will need a large pail, a five gallon food grade pail works wonderful. If you don't have one, you can always check with bakeries. I've heard Walmart Bakery um, has them. If you air it out and get the smell out, you could use a McDonald's pickle pail. There's lots of opportunities for you there. You're also gonna need something long handled to stir your mash with. Probably best off not being wood as you can't sanitize wood well. You're going to need some yeast some yeast food, um, a cloth, I happen to use a flour sack towel, and some type of rope. So to start with, I cheat a little bit and I use my Ninja. I take my apples and wash them. And then I um, have my pail sanitized and my spatula, I use a grill spatula sanitized. Then I will turn around and decor my apples. Now, at this point, you have a couple options. You can either juice those apples to cook out, or cook the apples to juice out the apples. You can just throw them in the pail with some water and smash them with a potato smasher. Believe me, that's not easy, I've tried it. Um, my way is to take peelings and all and just run them through a ninja. Now, I tend to use peelings. A lot of people out there wouldn't use peelings. I like the color with the peelings. I'm okay with that. Um, then you will take uh, your cranberries, if you're using the cranberries or cherries or whatever you wanna mix with your apples, and you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna throw them in your Ninja and you're gonna smash them all up. So people have asked me how much yeast and yeast starter do you use? Well, I tend to use about a teaspoon of yeast and about a teaspoon of, ye of yeast starter per gallon um, that I'm working with. So at this point, I pitched one teaspoon of yeast and four teaspoons of yeast starter. Next, you're gonna take your long whatever you've sanitized and you're gonna stir it all up and then you're gonna cover it. Now the reason for the covering at this point with a cloth is to keep it clean, keep things out of it, and really to keep uh, fruit flies away if there would be any chance of fruit flies, flies, anything else getting in there. So when it's all covered up, this is what it looks like. So one thing I forgot to tell you is it is okay to dilute your mash with some water. I wouldn't use more than say one part water to four parts mash. The reason for this is because your mash is really thick like applesauce. If you were using just juice or something like that, um, if you cooked out your juice, I wouldn't dilute it because you're actually adding in a lot more water for that cooking process. The other thing is you don't wanna get your bucket too full because this stuff is gonna bubble like a science project. And if it's too full, you're gonna have a mess all over your floor. So the next thing you're going to do is for the next five days or so, you're going to take the cover off. You're going to take your spatula or whatever you stirred with and sanitize it again, stir it up good and put the cover back on it. During this five days or so, you're gonna to wanna to keep it 70, 75 degrees so that your yeast can work. Okay, you will smell it. Uh, it should smell kind of like bread bubbling. You should start to smell the yeast. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep stirring this daily until it settles down a little bit. For step two of this, you will need a carboy in an airlock. You can look for them on um, Google. Um, I think Walmart has them now or if you have a local supplier, you can look for that. You're gonna wanna get a carboy that's gonna kind of fit your um, leftover after the mash. Um, so that really depends on how much mash you have. 
You can always add white grape juice later if you need to fill that up because white grape juice is very neutral. Um, some people have added marbles to the bottom, but at the next stage, we're not going to want a lot of air. So I guess we'll see you probably in about a week. For Rita, because she told me to.